Hey guys, welcome to Amy's Autopsy Report. My name's Amy. Um, this video is gonna be a tag video. Um, I was tagged by Miko Romero for this video called my, or for this tag called My Life in Movies tag. Um, it's 14 questions. Um, I will attempt to put all of these questions in the uh, comments below or in the description box below. Um, I don't know how easy it'll be for me to copy and paste from my phone because that's how I'm filming this right now. Um, <clears throat> so let's get on with the questions because there are 14 of them. So, number one, first steps. The first film you remember seeing as a kid. The first film I remember seeing as a kid probably would have to be Jaws. Um, that's one of the early, that's one of the first movies I, I remember watching at all, which is kind of funny because it's not exactly a kid's movie. Um, number two, Teenage Crush. Which actor did you have a crush on? <laughs> well, there were, there were several, um, all of which whom I still like today. Uh, but there was Bruce Campbell, Eric Estrada, Lorenzo Lamas, and Sean Penn. <laughs> so yeah, and and if anybody follows me on Instagram or knows me personally, you know I'm always talking about Eric Estrada and Lorenzo Lamas and Bruce Campbell still to this day. Um, number three, bad choices, good outcome. A movie you watched and ended up enjoying even though you wanted to hate it. Um, that's probably going to be Bridesmaids. Um, I actually really dislike romantic comedies. I don't like them. I feel like I lose brain cells when I watch those kinds of movies for, for whatever reason. I, I just don't enjoy them. Um, there are a few that I do like and Bridesmaids was one that everybody was talking about nonstop and I didn't want to see it, but the, the right people told me I should watch it. Let me put it to you that way. Um, people that I've known for a lot of years and know, you know me well and know my sense of humor. And so I watched it and I loved it. And, uh, but yeah, I really was like, I wanted to hate that movie, but I don't. Um, number four, first date. When you went on a first date, what movie did you see? <laughs> um, I went on a first date one time and we saw um, Team America World Police. <laughs> that movie with, uh, that was written by Trey Parker and Matt Stone from South Park. And it's like really offensive and with those puppets and everything. Um, and I let the guy pick and he knew me a little bit anyway before we went out on this date. So uh, it was fine, but it's, it's kind of a comical movie to have seen on a first date. Um, home comforts. Number five, what movie reminds you of time with your family? Um, that would have to be the wizard of Oz. That's always been on TV every year ever since I was a little kid and I used to watch it every year me and my brothers and my brother and sister um, so Wizard of Oz um, number six first heartbreak what movie really upset you or hit you more than you thought um, that's gonna be first of all I hate movies that that make me cry I do not like to watch movies that make me cry I would rather be scared I would rather watch stuff blow up I would rather like have it be a comedy something like that um, so I went to see my friends actually convinced me to go see Dead Man Walking that film with Sean Penn in it which of course was the other draw for me because I love Sean Penn and it was about this, he was a serial killer and he was on death row and it was like about his journey from being um, convicted all the way up to like his execution. And I cried and cried and cried at that movie and I was so mad because, because I hate to cry. Um, number seven, Leaving Home. What movie was the first you watched without your family? Um, I think, I think it was Nightmare on Elm Street and it was at a slumber party, but the first movie I saw in the theater without my family was Spaceballs and that was with my friend Lori. Um, number eight, Good Times. What movie do you watch the most and why? I probably watch 
Creature from the Black Lagoon the most. Um, I have loved that movie ever since I was a little kid, and I watch it often. I just, it's just one of those movies I never get tired of. Um, number nine, learn a new language. What is your favorite non-English language movie? Well, that's hard for me because I watch a lot of foreign movies. Um, gosh, I don't know what my favorite would be because I like a lot of Japanese horror. I like Spanish horror. Um, I like um, Spanish action movies. Um, gosh, I don't know what I would pick for my favorite for that. There's just, there's just too many. I mean, I love the Wreck movies. I love um, Ringu, Juwan, um, and, and, and all the Spanish movies I have. I mean, I love, I just, I just love all that stuff. So I, I, can't, I can't pick one of those. Um, number 10, Can't Leave the Sofa. What series on TV got you hooked? Um, I actually don't watch TV anymore. Uh, I just, nothing's really any good, so I don't watch it anymore. But the, my two favorite TV shows of all time are Twin Peaks and uh, Tales from the Crypt. And Twin Peaks was probably the first TV show that really got me sucked in, where I just like had to see the episodes. Um, that's a great, uh, a great television show. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend it. It's, I can't even describe how good it is. Um, let's see. Number 11, Sick Day. What movie do you watch if you don't feel well to cheer you up? <laughs> this is funny. I never knew that anybody else actually did this until I saw this question. Um, when I get sick, I usually watch the same three films. I always watch um, It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, which is, of course, a TV show. I always watch uh, Disney's Alice in Wonderland, and I always fall asleep when the flowers start singing every single time. And I always watch Preacher from the Black Lagoon. Those are the three I always watch if I'm sick. Most of the time, I'll actually watch Alice in Wonderland. Um, Number 12, looking to the future. What movies are you looking forward to seeing? Um, I'm obviously really looking forward to seeing It. And uh, there's another movie with Bill Mosley. I think it's coming out this year called, called Crepitus. And he's a clown who eats kids. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, number 13, if only. What old movie do you want to see remade? I, that's that's kind of hard. Most of the time, I'm not interested in seeing movies being remade. Um, I, th I I always feel like um, I, usually I'll watch them, but most of the time I'm kind of disappointed, and so I can't think of anything I'd actually want to be. You know, it would actually be kind of cool if somebody remade Creature from the Black Lagoon, but actually made a creature in the same type of way they made the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. I think that if they did it in that kind of a vein, it could be really, really good. Um, I would love to see a remake of that. And I know that there's been talk off and on about remaking a lot of those Universal Monster movies, but I don't know where that whole situation lies. So, um, yeah, Creature from the Black Lagoon would be great if they did it correctly. Um, and the last question is number 14, End of the Road. What three films do you think you will always enjoy watching? Creature from the Black Lagoon, The Evil Dead, and Night of the Living Dead. And those are my picks, guys. Um, so I'm going to tag... Lita Fairy, Naked Eye Studio, Todd All Things Horror, and Anthony Rapino. So, yeah, uh, if you want to do the tag video and you have not been tagged, I say just do it. A lot of times I don't even bother tagging people because by the time I get around to doing them, everybody's already been tagged. So, do the tag if you want to. Let me know in the comments below if you did it. Um, so that, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, if you like this video, give me a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram, at Amy's Autopsy Report. And I will catch you guys in the next one.